take this, it's like six inches. You can probably do smaller inches if you want. You just roll up however much you want. Find out where you started at. I'm supposed to pull a piece out, but that's where I started at. Hold it down Cats maybe once or twice, that's ready? up to you. Cats and then you will cut it three times. And that's it. And then you take about three, three pieces if they feel too thick. And you do, uh, no, you take about three or four pieces depending on how, how they feel. If you do four pieces and they feel thick, then only do three pieces. And then you so just add, like we showed this? you earlier. Oh, great. Okay, finished. So, what is it? It's too small. Just make it tight. Maggie, these and books pull really tight. are small. Abracadabra! Make a knot. And then you pull it really tight. And you keep doing that until you get all the way around to the end. Look. Start two two socks with this long elastic. And then you just. See? I made knots. And this is for infants. You are an infant. It's an elastic. It's 35 inches of elastic for an infant. I will cut this for infant size, but you could use something shorter so you don't have to waste so much tool. Okay. Alright, so this is the completed look. Alright, so this is the completed look. So where we stop at. And this is how neat it is. All the way around. To the other end literally make a tutu sorry y'all don't worry about my tussy roll I got hungry <laughs> I wanted to snack
Okay, the next video will be me applying this to the pair of socks. This is how big it is just for one pair of infant socks. And so I say this takes like eight hours, six to eight hours to do. It would be, I would be still doing this if this was for like a toddler. Right now this is for like a baby, like a one year old. Yes, this is long. Um, it really needs to be, yeah, I will cut half this off. So normally when you do this, you would take a smaller cardboard to make your strips. But I needed my cardboard for infants, so I didn't want to cut it to ruin it for an infant tutu. So I'll be cutting. Sorry, yo. It's like 530 in the morning. I'll be cutting half this off when I make, um, after I sew it to the sock. I put it on the sock first, then put it on the sock mannequin, foot mannequin, and then I cut to make sure it's, you know, it's not too big for a baby. That's it. Also, I think I forgot to mention in my other videos. When you make the strips, please make your strips small. Don't make them big. When you make, when you keep them big, <gasps> excuse me again, when you make them big, you don't get such a full tutu sock. Your sock will be, um, it may be full or look full, but it will be too, it will be too thin once it's done in, around your sock. It will look like everybody else's tutus that make tutu socks. That's why mine's always look different from other people's tutu socks. Because I do mine's differently. But if you don't have six to eight hours, you can do thicker pieces or um, bigger pieces to go around the elastic. You would have the same type of tutu sock. It just wouldn't be as full looking. So. Alright. Good night for now. I'll be back in the morning to do another video of me placing the tutu on the socks. Alright, I'm going to bed for a few hours. I've got kids, got school at 7. I wake them up at 7, get everybody ready and get them out. Be back at the home by like 9.30 to get started again on my work. Alrighty, good night. Alright, y'all. Uh back again now i'm about to sew it onto the sock look how big and puffy this is and i haven't even put it on the sock yet and these are the socks they're going on infant stops like for a one-year-old you wonder how i'm gonna get all this onto the sock We'll see. Hey, again, this is what I do. I sew, I mean, I put my sock onto this thing like a sleeve. Um, I take this thing off. I don't know how you do yours. I don't know what kind of sewing machine you have, how you do yours. But I find to be able to put it on a sleeve. This is an infant sock. So it's a little tight to put on the sleeve, which is fine because you still want it to be, you need it to stretch anyway. So to get on a child's foot. Um, but sometimes doing it this way, it, it keeps sliding off. So you kind of need two hands. One hand to this and one hand to, uh, you know, guide and sew the tool onto the sock. Um, I'm going to try my best to try to videotape this with my phone while I put the sew the tool onto the sock. But it's kind of difficult to do. I don't have the right equipment that other YouTubers have to um, videotape themselves. So next year, maybe I'll have it. Because um, I'll do another tutu sock tutorial. A much better one than this one. Um, one that will stay, continuous, stay on continuously throughout the whole entire process. So you can see everything in one go. 
Also, too, on that one, I will show you how to do a no sewing machine. It's still sewing, but, you you know, not everybody has a sewing machine. In this type of uh, tutu sock, you don't really need a sewing machine. I just use a sewing machine because it's faster. But I will, on the next tutorial, I'll show you how to do actual hand needle and sew the tool onto the sock. Um, so, I'm a... I'm going to hit pause right now until I can figure out how to prop my phone in a way where y'all can see me um, sew the tool onto the sock. Okay, I hope this is, I hope you'll be able to see this. I'm trying to, after I'm done, I'm not really good with edits. I don't really know what to do about those, but I'm going to try to see if it's a way that I could um maybe zoom in in the video or at least zoom in with some pictures so you can see more but anyway see how i left a little tail out that's fine to leave out put your sewing machine on zigzag a uh, big zigzag um it's really up to you what type of zigzag you want you won't see it anyway um start all the little all the little uh knots that you made from the tutu that is what you're sewing to the very edge of this so that's why i say you zigzag that way you know you're getting both the tool and the sock with a straight stitch you may miss some stuff um so i like zigzag stitch um whatever color your tool is um, try to match the sock because you may see a little bit of the color um, once you're done. So I'm using brown, but I don't have any more um, brown. Um, no, no, no. I didn't feel like uh, doing another bobbin of brown, so I have black as my um, bobbin. But black and brown is still fine. Um, I have my stitch on three. Um, sometimes four is too uh, tight and it'll break the um, thread because it's kind of thick. Um, if you have a thicker needle, you may want to change your needle to a thicker needle. Um, but I don't. I don't need to really change my needle if I'm doing like a um, really, really thick fabric or um, a really, really thin uh, satin or, you know, really thin quality type fabric. So, see how it just comes off if you don't hold it? Uh, but just put it back on. Make sure your presser foot is down and the needle is in. And just put it back on. As you go, as you go, pull. All right, I'm going to show you on this side, but you're going to do it on your side facing you. But I'm going to show it on your side so you can see. As you go, you pull. You pull this. This helps the stretch. That way, um it'll get on their foot nicely without pulling or stretching or struggling but you will do it on your side how you however you're sewing This is my 
my first tutorial, y'all. So bear with me. As I do more, I'll get better. I keep stopping because I'm making sure my sock is turning as I go. And I'm stretching as I go. So I keep stopping to grab more as I turn. At a certain point, you probably don't have to keep putting the sock back on the sleeve. At this point, I'm not going to keep putting it back on because it's uh, I'm close to the end. So I'll just keep pulling. Just make sure you keep pulling though. As tight, I mean, as uh, much as you like. back I'm gonna bring the cell phone on this side now so you can see where I will connect right now I'm just so much tools I'm just pulling my tool out my way See underneath this is where I started at the string that I started with and so I'll be still stretching and then I'm gonna overlap I'm gonna overlap this string all done just in the corner just on the edges of the sock and, uh -oh. and here's the sock all right fluffy I do need to cut this down for her size because this is an infant and this is way too much tool um, this is what I would use if I was doing an, an infant tool like a um, three to six month baby or something but I didn't want to cut that cardboard that I had so I, that's what I did with doing that though you are wasting a lot of tool because I need to cut more than half of this off where I could have had some tool left over all right so then I'm gonna bring the sock in oh, because the first when I put it on there I can't remember if I told y'all I turned the sock inside out to sew it onto the sewing machine you turn the sock inside out. So now I'm bringing it back out. And then, once I cut it and everything, it will be folded down like this. So then you will have to fold. But let me cut this off. I'm gonna put it in a mannequin foot first. Okay, right, here's some of my cutting. Let's see if I can 
Got a pocket. Hey. Let's just stay here for a few minutes. Bear with me, y'all. All right, you see the foot? Definitely want to cut at the foot. I don't know if I want to cut more later, but definitely cut at the foot. See how much I just wasted? Now imagine it all the way around for both feet. Definitely wasted a lot, so definitely try not to. So. Let's cut at the foot. Oh, sorry. Let's cut at the foot. So I'm going to do that all the way around. So, see how different it is? I cut it. Cut it all down. And look at all this wasted tool I just cut off because I didn't use the right side. So... I just need to make it all really even and more circle-like. But yeah, I think this is good. I don't think I'm going to cut it any shorter. I like it to sit like right on the sock. No matter what size, I cut it usually to fit right on the sock. All right. The next time I come back on, both socks will be done with the finished look. The socks are done. See, they're nice and even and circled around and very full. And here's what the sock looks like on, on the mannequin. Nice and full and neat. To do socks are awesome, but I definitely like them neat. And not on a mannequin. Okay. Thank you. Give a thumbs up for this tutorial. Granted, hopefully my next one will be so much better, but this is my first one, so please bear with me. Thank you. Bye. Um, any questions, please feel free to ask. You can also go on my website for if you want me to make you any, and the website will be in the link below. Okay. Give a thumbs up, like, share, or do it yourself.